Hey, hey, hey everyone! Welcome to Potty Talk and my 19 week bump date. I cannot believe we are at 19 weeks. 20 weeks is considered halfway point. Um, in our special situation, we are probably actually over halfway there now. So that's super exciting. Um, some exciting things have been happening with baby this week too. Baby is about six inches from crown to rump, so that means baby's actually longer if you consider in um, length of the legs. The arms and legs are proportionate to the rest of the body now, and baby's about the size of a mango. Um, I read one little thing online where it said baby is actually starting to grow hair, which is crazy. I hope to goodness she's growing hair because <laughs> James was a little baldy until he was two years old, so I'm kind of hoping she comes out with hair. Um, how I've been feeling, um, it's, <laughs> um, I laugh because it's still sort of like a, oh, I don't even know how I'm feeling right now, but, um, physically I'm still kind of feel mostly normal. Um, I do find that there are some days that I get really, really tired. Um, I tend to can be able to go, go, go all morning long and get through lunch and I get the kids, the little ones laid down for a nap and the older ones settled and, and then I sort of crash <laughs> and I feel like I'm worthless the rest of the day. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Other than that, I really am feeling pretty well. Um, I'm still dealing with pregnancy insomnia. That has been an ordeal this pregnancy even from before I even took the first pregnancy test I mean at like three weeks pregnant I was um, suffering from insomnia so typically I will sleep like two hours and be awake several a few hours and then sleep one or two hours more before time to get up so like last night I slept from 10 to 12 and then from 5 to 7 so that's kind of my typical night um, it's not super pleasant, <laughs> but I don't really know what to do about it at this point. I've used oils. I've tried drinking like tea, hot tea before bed. I've tried getting into a really good bedtime routine to see if that would help. And, and I fall asleep just fine. When I go to bed, I, I fall asleep easily. But as soon as I get woke up either by Jeremy coming to bed because he's a night owl or um, needing to go to the bathroom, it's over. I, I I don't go back to sleep after that. So um, I'm hoping tonight I can sleep. It's been probably about four nights in a row now that have been like that. And typically I can get one or two good nights a week. So I'm hoping tonight is one of those nights because my oldest son Isaac has an MRI tomorrow morning um, at seven. We have to be there at six. So that means I have to leave my house about 5.20, Um So yeah, if I only sleep a couple hours at the beginning of the night, that's probably all I'm gonna get t tonight. <laughs> so I am praying that I just sleep all night through tonight, please, dear God. Um, and then the next night, Tuesday night, we will be in Nashville getting ready to do all of our test Wednesday morning. Um, we do have our official consultation date Wednesday. Um, we will be in, Jeremy and I will be in Nashville at Vanderbilt. Um, I'll be going through lots of tests. Baby will be having lots of tests. I don't even, I don't even remember all of them. I know there's an amniocentesis. I know that there is a fetal MRI, ultrasound, of course. Um, I think we're supposed to meet with a geneticist. I believe there's a psych eval in there as well. There's just a few different things that will be happening that day. So I'm really hoping I get a good night's sleep sometime in there. So um, I have been getting a lot more movement, praise the Lord. I'm so happy. That always makes me feel good whenever I can feel baby moving around. She's moving a lot, but she's moving very, very, she is very low, <laughs> very low. Um, when we had our ultrasound done last week, gosh, it's only been a week. That's crazy. Um, when we had our ultrasound done and they were trying to get good pictures of her head because they wanted to look at, you know, the pressure in her ventricles and stuff. And um, I'm looking at the cerebellum 
and they were having a hard time because her head is just so low into my pelvis and so, and in her movements are very very low like I can feel her in my behind is what it feels like I mean she is just so low um, I guess that's part of having your fourth kid everything just like drops <laughs> each pregnancy you can't hold the baby up anymore everything's just like that um, I don't think there's really anything else to really update on um, everything's going pretty good we're just anxious and ready to have this MRI done um, that's Isaac tomorrow I'm anxious to have this consult done which does include an MRI I'm anxious to have that done on Wednesday and just find out what's going on one way or the other. I will tell you this, um, we did find out that Vanderbilt is one of the strictest hospitals in as far as their guidelines for approving for the fetal surgery. Um, I, I have my guesses as to why that might be, um, in, but who knows. Um, but we are very blessed that we are not far away from Cincinnati. Nashville is about three and a half hours away. Cincinnati is four hours away. And Cincinnati is one of the other hospitals that does the surgery. So uh, the children's hospital there. So if for any reason we are denied at Vanderbilt, we can try at Cincinnati and see how that goes. So um, my gut feeling is we're gonna get approved on Wednesday. Um, just because of the way things have just been lining up and falling into place um, in order to make this happen but I could be wrong <laughs> but uh, yeah I'm gonna try and vlog on Wednesday if they'll let me I don't know if they'll let us have the camera in there for different things but we're gonna try um, all right I'm gonna show you my belly and then we're gonna be done I did get comments this morning at church uh, like oh my goodness baby's growing <laughs> which is a nice way of saying mommy's getting big so I'm definitely showing a lot more right now and part of that is another symptom I have been dealing with the last two weeks is that I definitely am having that slow digestion again kind of like I did at the beginning of the pregnancy so um, I am bloated some just because of that but still I'm definitely getting bigger so let you see You can definitely tell that I'm pregnant now. <laughs> um, I don't just look fat anymore. That's definitely a baby bump. So that's fun. I'm gonna try and enjoy this pregnancy as much as I can, as long as I can. You know, we, we're high risk of having an early delivery, so um, I just wanna soak every moment up and enjoy it um, while I can. I'm trying to enjoy my kids while I can in case I'm gone for a while and just not taking anything for granted just nothing um, one thing is for sure when you face situations like this it just makes you realize wow how how blessed we are to, to have a sense of normalcy in our lives um, with our family and support system and all that stuff so definitely thankful for everything that we've been gifted with and blessed with including this baby girl she will be loved dearly no matter what <laughs> so um, I'll see you guys back again here in just a couple of days because I really want to try and even if I can't vlog there while we're at Vanderbilt I'll at least give you a video update to let you know how everything went at the end of the day so be sure and subscribe so you don't miss that and I will see you in a couple of days bye